Hello and welcome to the HQ of SpeedyNet, which uh, has turned from a farm shack <laughs> into this skyscraper. Or well, at least a nice and high office building with plenty of space for my luxurious car, <laughs> even though I do have to drive it through a bit of grassland. But yeah, I kind of missed the whole development of our HQ <laughs> and it was like, you know, well, just from a farm shack to this, without us ever seeing the in-between stages. Though, I must say that I don't really know if this is like the final stage of our HQ. <laughs> I sure hope it isn't. I mean, I would like to see like, you know, some more stages of it. But here we are. Now, the board's meeting is over and the uh, director or um, CEO, <laughs> I mean, not director, damn it. <laughs> CEO Damage has um, come up with a plan for what we should do. And, uh, well, uh, when we last left off, I think... Wait, track lines aren't shown in this view? Alright, that's good to know. Um, yeah, alright, we'll go to the map view to find our starting train network, really. Which, come on, you gotta be kidding me. I can't find my train network. Where are our tracks? <laughs> Help! Oh, here they are. <laughs> yeah, so our starting network, last time we left off, um, we took a look at this network over here. And I already noticed that this whole section here <laughs> is bad. <laughs> this is a mess. <laughs> it's the worst mess I've created in this series. And uh, yeah, I can't have this. So we need to rework this. But then we have this lake here, which is the whole cause of this mess. And it's going to be expensive. But with one and a half million in the bank, I think that right now we can afford to rework this uh, and these entrance tracks to some proper functioning tracks and um, we will do so now another thing that uh, i noticed uh, last video was that over here there are no engineering supplies well uh, ceo damage went on investigation and i found the cause for it if you take a look at our trains going to over here and we go to the orders uh, this order and then, which is this one as well on the other train wasn't set to transfer so basically <laughs> what happened was that the train came over here it unloaded these engineering supplies loaded them straight up again <laughs> went to the depot to be refitted and gone <laughs> were the engineering supplies <laughs> yeah pretty bad but i got it fixed now so we should see uh soon some engineering supplies at this station now um, that is all sorted, but over here, yeah, we got these tracks that we need to address. Now, the thing is that um, we need these tracks to be empty. That means that we don't need any trains over here. So what I should do is send them all to the depot. The thing is, though, that <laughs> I don't want the trains to be in this depot because we're going to rework the tracks here. So, yeah, what I got to do really is uh, I've got to destroy this depot. And then I will need to send all the trains to that depot. So let's see. I... Yeah, send to depot. Right. This should send all of them to the closest depot, uh, which should be the majority of them should now head over here. And uh, once these tracks are empty, we can start reworking this area. Because, uh, yeah, <laughs> already a traffic jam. It is direly needed that we rework this. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's uh, wait till the tracks are emptied out. All right.
Right, and done. So, now all the trains should be able to go onto their merry way. And uh, yeah, I think if I click this button, then all of them should immediately leave the depot. And luckily for us, I don't think I had any depot orders assigned to this previous depot. However, <laughs> you can look at our money. Yeah, it did cost us quite a lot. So, yeah. Ah, well. I guess that it's an investment well worth it. I mean, this is a lot better in terms of entryway, you know, bridges and all that. Yeah, it's just so much smoother. Right, well, uh, we got this part done now. Um, the other thing is that right now we got pretty much everything sorted. Granted, we might need to fine tune the amount of trains and wagons that we use a little bit, but in theory, this iron operation I can safely say that it's a success. So, what's next, right? Well, uh, CEO Damage has again done some investigation in the lands surrounding our network. And, um, well, see, the thing is that at the moment we kind of have a surplus of uh, farming supplies because this Smithy Forge makes both engineering and farm supplies. Now, we aren't using the farm supplies because we have nowhere for these to go to. But it would be quite nice if we could use those, right? Now, as it happens, <laughs> I mean, there's like uh, fields with things, crops and all around us. So there's plenty of farms for those things to go to. But um, yeah, you know, we can't just dump all the farming supplies at a few farms and then hope for the best. We gotta have a plan. So, if we take a look at the map over here, of uh, the area around our Smithy Forge, and uh, we go to the industries, alright, <laughs> yeah, that was a big mess, let's disable all of them, and if I now turn on fruit plantations, look, there are a crap load of fruit plantations right around our... Uh, around our smithy fort and fruit plantations use farm supplies to increase their production so yeah this is a pretty interesting situation right now we can make uh, alcohol from fruit um, I don't really know I mean <laughs> pina colada or uh, maybe cider or something but for that we need a brewery now if you take a look there aren't that many breweries around i mean there's one over there and there's one over here and uh, all the others are further away so yeah this one looks very promising in terms of like fruit brewery hmm? and then farm supplies means more fruit brewery however the brewery if we take a look at this brewery uh, there it is the brewery and it accepts also grain now <laughs> since there is a crap load of farms over here why don't we take a look at uh, the grain farms too around our area all right so I think that um, yeah it was arable farm that's the one supplying grain Oh, <laughs> I hope I'm not mistaken right now. That would be rather stupid. Uh, yeah, no, look, arable farm. Uh, so yeah, we can 
add those to the terrain line and all of a sudden we can see that there's like another three over here as well and we can start to make a lot of alcohol with this one brewery over here really and uh, well alcohol can then be brought to hotels i believe and that will lead to an increase in passengers Mm, yeah, you see something forming up over here. Now, one thing that I did saw at the brewery is that it also needs manufacturing supplies uh, to increase the production, which we do not have. So, yeah, that's a thing that we might want to look into later. But for now, I think that it wouldn't be such a bad idea if we start, you know, expanding our network a little bit and start adding a line to this area. And, uh, yeah, you know, get a brewery and all that hooked up. So, um, yeah, I think it's time that we do some network expansion. So, uh, here it goes, you know, expanding the network. We're getting into alcohol. <laughs> oh, yeah, my favorite <laughs> the goods to transport <laughs> on a side note. So, uh, yeah, let's get some tracks built, right? Hmm, uh, just by you know being forced to place the station here, I just now realized a thing but that I haven't checked for really, and that is height differences. Because basically we're gonna have to make a train track over here, but the brewery is quite close to sea level. So if I can get like a height map here. See, all of our stuff is basically over here, so maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea if we put everything on sea level however maybe maybe one level above sea level wouldn't be so bad man just at sea level is really low so yeah we're gonna go with one level above sea level and then we'll just bridge it a little bit like this and like that and yeah all right all right all right we got it sorted um time to commence building and this time for real Before I decide on which kind of car horse carriage we're gonna grab, let's take a quick look at the cargo payment rates for fruit and see how they develop. I mean, that will basically determine uh, what kind of speed I need to choose for uh, the horse carriages. Ooh, it's actually declining rather quickly, I see here. I think that, well, if we take a, if we take a look at food, yeah, see, it more, well, food is a little bit worse, but it kind of has the same decline as, yeah, as, uh, as food. So we're going to need the fastest things that, you know, fastest view, whoa, <laughs> six horses. No, we don't have those, but we need the fastest horse carriages that we can get our hands on. Which I think is um, the four horses for the fruit. But that's all right now. Uh, so yeah, good. We now know that. Um, let's continue on with setting up this fruit line.
Right, well, I think that we have ourselves our very first fruit train line. Now, it isn't in service just yet, but um, it's quite a long one. <laughs> a little bit longer than I thought it would be, really. Now, I know that we have these uh, 
three fruit plantations, fruit farms, <laughs> whatever really, that we can also add, but we would need to build like a station, like somewhere over here for that. And uh, well, we can do that later, for now though. I kind of want to get it all uh, running really, because uh, yeah, lots of investing, nothing has happened. And over here, you can see that we have 172 tons of fruit. Excuse me there. Uh, fruit. Over here, not so much, but it will soon rise. Now, the thing is, um, I could have one train pick up the fruit here and also pick up the fruit here and have it be one very, very long train. But no, 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 I want two separate trains, so that uh, in case I need to like uh, distribute something back to this station <laughs> with that train, uh, it's gonna be a lot easier. So yeah, we're gonna use two separate trains for it, and we're also gonna use a separate train for this station. Uh, it also saves me uh, making hookup tracks to over here, so <laughs> yeah, that's also another reason. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, get some trains then, uh, shall we? It seems that the only carriage being able to transport fruit is this open wagon, which has a speed limit of 56 kilometers an hour. That's annoying really, but yeah, I mean, I've been skimming through here. I mean, you might have been wondering, like, what damage, what the crap are you doing? I'm fi trying to find if fruit was in the list, but it's only the open wagon. Oh well, alright, uh, we'll deal with it, um, we will get uh, more wagons later on as time passes by, but for now <laughs> we're stuck with this, so yeah, here it goes. Right, and here they are, our very first two fruit trains. Wow, look at them go. Now, I think if I got it right, yeah, see, <laughs> they're limited to 56 kilometers an hour. That's kind of bad, really. And I'm also not really sure whether or not we have enough capacity with these open wagons. I might have to add more, though, uh, you know, more open wagons to this. But for now, I mean, looking at the load, we could add a little bit more, but... Yeah, I don't think we should add too much more, or they're gonna be uh, really slow as well, so... Yeah. Uh, another thing that you might be wondering uh, about is... Um, you know, the signals and uh, all that. And uh, I have to admit, in case you're playing along with the same mods, and, um, well, there is a kind of bug in uh, one of the patches, I believe it was, that um, the hard pack has added. And that is that um, one patch has added uh, the function of simulating signals inside a tunnel. And uh, it's all nice and such, but um, basically, uh, when you place a signal on the tunnel entrance, it will simulate uh, signals in there. Uh, however, it's kind of bugged with, I don't know, some other train set or some other patch or I don't even know what, uh, you know, what it's causing it. But I do know that if there are signals, you know, if it's doing that, simulating the signals in the tunnel or a bridge, I mean, bridge is the same thing, really. Um, yeah, then it will cause crashes occasionally. Doesn't do it always, but it does do it uh, occasionally. So that's why we do have the signals in front and behind the tunnels. This is only in case you're playing along. I mean, in the original game, I also had it like this, and uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, I thought it was worth mentioning. But um, here they are, our two fruit trains going to the brewery. Now. This is all nice, but yeah, it's a long distance, man, and they are so slow. I really think that we might want some more capacity on this, or even two trains per station. 
I don't really know what um, they're gonna get and when they arrive at the station, so we are gonna find out. Why is this train not going to the station, uh, I wonder. I mean, you are supposed to go there. I don't really get it, train. Why are you also not heading there? Is there something wrong here? I don't know, really. Um, <laughs> at least now you're doing what you're supposed to do. And I want to find out how much money you're gonna make. So, how much is it? Wait, what? You're not unloading and... Oh, <laughs> I see why that is. <laughs> yeah, I might have forgotten to uh, build a <laughs> thingy that, so that the brewery is actually covered. I thought that um, this brewery also had a building over here that was an L shape. Turns out it isn't. So, yeah, I need to kind of like add something to it. So... Let's see, uh, facilities, why don't we add like uh, the main station uh, to it, you know, the main office, something like that. Look, and right now it should accept the good, the fruit. So, unload please, and show me how much money this is worth. Ooh, 11,000. That's not bad really, but we need more. Uh, yeah, alright, so... Let's take a quick look now at both of these stations. Here's 78 tons of fruit and here is 188. So, here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna... Well, we're gonna extend both trains really. So, they're gonna get a few more wagons. And um, they're also going to get cloned. So, we get like four trains in total. Uh, no, crap. I need station... I need the list of trains going to this station, and they need to all go to the depot. Right, well, um, whilst they are going to the depot, we might as well just hook up these three uh, fruit uh, plants, <laughs> or uh, fruit plantations, and um, add some more fruit going to the brewery, right? Well, I think that these three uh, fruit farms are now also set up. Oh, <laughs> wait, hold on. If I uh, have these horse carriages go on their merry way and move the fruit to the station, then yes, it is all ready. Let's add another train to this uh, fruit uh, line, right? So that we have the basics really covered really well. Right, well, 
and there it is. We got ourselves three trains now running about in the, on this line. Though because this station is relatively close, <laughs> well, it totally isn't. It's like miles away. But because it's relatively close over here, um, I am gonna leave that with one train and see how it does. But over here, though, uh, yeah, 150 tons of fruit. <laughs> That's a lot. 226 tons of fruit that's even more so where are the trains there you are that's actually wonderful because the moment you have unloaded um i will tell you to go to the depot now how much did you get is it eleven thousand again i mean that wouldn't be so bad really it's only a hundred really how does that i mean how does that work out you did just uh, unload a crap ton of goods, right? Or was that the one load you carried all the way back over there again? That could also be the case. Because one train did leave with a full load of fruit. So, yeah, that could be. Anyway, we're gonna add four more. Come on, I need the caboose over there. Right, and then we are going to duplicate this very train. And then we're going to send them to their merry way. And that should uh, give us more than enough capacity to uh, deal with these far away uh, fruit farm stations. You, on the other hand, yeah, you already got a profit. So I think that the train that we saw over here with just a thousand was the one who left without ever unloading anything. Yeah, see? So that's just to show you how quickly the value declines. What we can't really do is um, have the fruit go and about up and down for one turn. Because, yeah, that's not going to be worth anything at all. Uh, you, though, you should more or less, I think, have an 11,000 haul. I mean, as long as you don't go to the depot, then it should all be fine. Now, this is, of course, just the basic structure, really. I mean, it's just pick up fruit, bring to brewery, and then done. We also need to kind of get these farming supplies to our uh, fruit plantations. And then perhaps start looking at bringing grain to the brewery, too. So, yeah, there's a lot more steps involved. But for now, I want to see if we got this uh, part nailed. And... Uh, yeah, let's see. How much how much money are you gonna get? I just I just love seeing the big numbers float up here, you know. I just love so love that. So come on, unload now. Man, I wish I had faster wagons for fruit really, but it's a shame we don't. Look at that, twelve thousand. Yeah, if we had faster uh wagons, I mean Oh, come on, no balls. Go to the depot, go to the depot. You need to go to this one depot. Yeah, now it's taking the one over here. That's what I want, really. Yeah, it's going to this this depot over there. That's good, it needs to. And you, yeah, I think I just made you, so that that's all nice. Uh, wait, what did you do? Did you, you didn't just empty, what? Did you just empty your whole load over here at the hardware store? Or was it just a service? I don't know really, but <laughs> this is, it was looking rather suspicious. If that was a service, then crazy. I mean, those are crazy expensive. We're getting ripped off, man, <laughs> if that was uh, just some regular service there. Hey, come on, at the back. Come on, be, be a nice. All right, fine, we'll remove you. We'll do with the one less. And uh, we will, while we're at it, we will also duplicate you. And have them all be gone. And bye-bye, window spam. There. Right, well, pretty interesting all in all. Right now, we got... Um, some well quite a good amount of uh, fruit trains and we're making alcohol oh and look at look at the cargo over here man i mean it's crazy it's bonkers high so yeah we got the another basic line over here it's just another separate line right now but it won't be for long because we have to start shipping supplies to these stations we have to start uh, 
hooking up grain farms we have to start giving those supplies and yeah lots of things that we need to do but all of those and more will happen next time when we play more open ttd